take the 790R for a bit of a cruise for the first time. Let's see how we go. Just waiting for me mate to come out in the ute. Gonna follow me. Bit of traffic here in Mildura. The kind people at uh, KDM Mildura have offered to let me take it for a bit of a spin. She feels light. It's the first thing I noticed. Get me mirrors done. Feels nice. It's the first time I've used the uh, 10C Pro. So hopefully I've got all the audio right and everything. And the camera. I'm meant to be able to find some dirt down here somewhere. Get a poke. I've got it in rally mode at the moment. Seems alright, alright I might switch off and uh, I'll talk to you in a minute.
All right, so we'll give it another crack here. Interesting, you just touch the button, she starts. You don't have to hold it on there. Must do a couple of laps around here for... I'll just do a couple of laps. It does feel agile, but you, at the same time you know you're on a heavy bike. It might be just my own head. I don't know. But it does feel agile. You don't feel it's a 200 kilo bike. You can sort of slide it. been a long time oh I found a false neutral there it's been a long time since I um, have been on the dirt but as soon as it comes back I probably should get this back to the kind people at KDM and Better wait for Kev because he won't like this corrugation at the six seven ninety, I nearly said six ninety. Seven ninety seems to glide over it alright. I was tossing up between the seven ninety or the six ninety. But after sitting on them, especially the new model, six ninety is way too tall for me. This felt tall, but riding it, it's all right. It's not as tall as the 690 though. I think a lot of people are going to have issues and the seat on the 690 is terrible. Well, this one doesn't feel too bad. It feels firm, but I'm sure with a bit of use, that'll soon loosen up a bit. And when you're turning, it just doesn't feel like a big heavy bike. Turns easy. Oh, that was bad. False neutral. So that's something I'd have to get used to. You will stand it easy. I'm not going to try though because of course you want to get some hours under yourself before you start trying to wheel stand. Should be nice riding around the twisties too by the feel. It turns so easy. Now I have to think about turn and it does. Feel a bit of wind on the face, even though I'm very short in the back. Um, I can still feel that wind, but I don't think that's going to bother me. I might um, take it out on the road. I 
might have to edit some bits out of this or <laughs> don't know if I'll leave it all in one or I'm very new to moto vlogging I'm sure I'll work it out so I'll be interested to see how this 10c pro goes I've only this is the first time I've used it I haven't even tried out the music or anything on this thing yet. I know I have to turn the volume up on it though, because I can't hear what the camera's doing. Feels nice if you just want to poke along gently. Brakes work well. I'm just stopping behind the car because I would need uh, the car behind me to keep up. I don't know if this one's fitted with the uh, quick shift or not, but anyway, it seems to push down easy. I didn't ask him before I left whether I had the... We'll just try this out on the open road. I feel a bit of heat around the legs, but... the temp on the bike. We he's up. Don't be in a hurry. The dash looks pretty clear I think I'll just leave it where it is I won't mess with stuff today I think it's just enjoyable riding it the way it is I think it's in uh, like I was saying, rally mode and um, the accelerator's on street mode. So it's not quite as... Maybe I should... Yeah, I noticed the, how tall it is there. A bit of... Not so straight ground to stand on. Yeah, throttle response. Off road, I'll put that on to rally. Can I? How do you do that? No, I want to go in there. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Big difference there. Yeah, you change the... Um throttle response on the rally from street mode and Jesus Christ it nearly threw me off the back I was not ready for that I 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, no, that's... That's got some punch. I might put it back. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to go in there. I'll put it back to the street. Close throttle. She's on the street. And that's... That feels nicer to ride. That's probably how I'd cruise around on it definitely because you can just sort of wind the throttle on a little bit and it does it a bit more gently but if you want to go, she'll go. Yeah, so it's a lot more jerky. Wait for always. I got someone up there. No, nothing to see here. <laughs> Sort of playing with the gears a bit. See, she sits on 80, 80 k's, no worries, just purrs along in fourth. Just purrs like a kitten in fifth. I think I'd have to have cruise control on this. Or else I can't see me holding on to my license too long. It's a little bit too much fun to ride. Just got to wait for Kev to catch up. I think I might take it back now. Feel a bit of the wind. I will have to adjust the peak down a bit, perhaps. It's interesting. You don't know which way you're turning. Yeah, they need to change that. I think. So you got the temperature there, 31 degrees Celsius today. My strap's flapping on my helmet. So I'm sorry about that noise. I don't think it'll take me very long at all to get used to this. They're such a big daunting bike when you first, well for me it was anyway. 
when I first sat on, I thought, oh God, maybe I should be looking at the 690. And I sat on the 690, I thought, oh shit, no, that's way too heavy. Not too heavy, too, uh, too tall. Yeah, this thing... I reckon I could um, quite happily ride around the riverbanks and because that's what I want to do is do a lot more off-road. I've been riding an R1 for the last 10 years and for the last 12 months it's been sitting in the shed and I thought well what am I doing? Because you can't really travel on the R1, it's a lot of fun to ride but where I live out in the Mallee there's not too many twisty bends and a lot of flat straight roads which is fine if you want to do 200 k's plus but I think the the man in blue doesn't really recommend that he's already given me a couple of warnings Yeah, I think I could get used to this. The seat, I am noticing the firmness in the seat still. But you can sort of sit right up. I was given a few pokes earlier. Sliding right up on the seat felt pretty good. Once again, it's something I'll have to get used to the weight of this bike and you can I know the electronics are are doing quite a lot for me when I'm riding it. I think uh, a couple of slides I did, I probably would have ended up on my ass if it wasn't for the ABS. I mean, the, uh, what am I saying, the, if it wasn't for the traction control. But yeah, she she turns well. Let me make sure there's no one behind me. No, it's all right. I'd love to go up some twisty mountains on this thing. I reckon it'd be fantastic. One of my goals is to do the Simpson Desert. I don't think I'll be doing it on this side. I think. <laughs> I think it might be a bit heavy. I'd have to get a lot of practice in sand. But as far as going up back roads and getting off the beaten track, I think this would be a lot of fun. Got to do that flip up in my helmet, it keeps flapping. It's the first time I've actually used this helmet. Plus, my jacket's loose, it's not done up tight. But something's flapping and hitting the helmet, so I'm sorry about that. What is that? That's annoying. It's 
seems to be when I sit down. Yeah, I'm on tippy toes. Looks like no one knows the road rules of roundabouts in Australia. The law is it's first to the roundabout has right away, which I think is too confusing. It's a stupid law. Give way to your right, and that's what everyone does. They just give way to their right, even though that's not the actual law. I think it's the safest way to do and everyone seems to do it that way. Pick roads, change the law. Oh, that bloody thing hitting this helmet. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like is the uh, the indicators. Like the indicator light doesn't show you which way it's pointing, even though you probably should know. But it's, it looks like you've got hazard lights on on the dash, and I'm not sure if I like that too much. I'm sure that'll be the last thing you'll be thinking about once you buy one of these things though. I think you'll be just enjoying the bike that much. But little things like that won't matter. Well, that was very enjoyable. So, yeah, Mototech in uh, Mildura were kindly enough to let me take this for a bit of a cruise. All right. Well, there we have it. The 790R. I like it. First thing to go would be those tyres. I did notice the uh, back wheels slip around a bit when I was out on the dirt. Yeah, I'd definitely change that to a knobby. I don't care about the sound, a lot of people say it's too quiet. I don't think that's something that would worry me too much. It seemed to sound alright to me. But yeah, I'd say if anyone out there is thinking about buying a 790R, just do it. <laughs>